The time has finally come! The conclusion to the exciting Avengers Infinity War from last year. Will we get to see Thanos get his comeuppance? Time will tell. Now I clearly am in the Avengers mood, and I thought back to the first time I ever even found out about Thanos and the Infinity Stones, and it was in 1995's Marvel Super Heroes. So the game is your typical Capcom fighter. You know the drill. A meter that if you fill it up you can perform various abilities based on your character. You know, the typical fighter stuff. But the unique thing about Marvel Super Heroes is that you have the ability to use the Infinity Stones. Yes, those powerful gems that made half the universe disappear are now at your disposal. One might even say, you knock the Infinity Stones out of your opponent. No really, you literally knock the Infinity Stones out of your opponent. See, there's one right there. Just fell out. That's... Uh, oh. Okay, so the Infinity Stones serve as power-ups. Depending on which one you have in your possession determines what you can use in battle. Like for example, using the Space Stone gives you extra defense, or the Power Stone activates new abilities. Now when you look at the characters who are playable, you would think that they seem really random, and you would be correct. Yeah, did anyone in the 90s know who Shuma Giraffe was? Heck, does anyone know who he is now? At the time, I thought he was a Fantastic Four villain, but I later found out he's one of Doctor Strange's villains. So maybe he'll make an appearance in a movie later. We'll see. But fun fact for the X-Men characters. Nowadays, Capcom is known for the Marvel vs. games, but when Marvel Super Heroes was released, the only one that had come out before it was X-Men Children of the Atom, and the X-Men characters are ripped straight from it. They chose to put in Wolverine, Psylocke, Juggernaut, and Magneto because polls showed that they were the most popular choice fighters in that game. Huh, the more you know. So after you fight your way through the roster, it's now on to the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. And his level looks pretty cool. I especially love the Avengers turned into statues in the background. Thanos himself is a pretty nicely done boss fight, as he uses the Infinity Stones against you, which gives him some pretty unique abilities. But if you persevere, you can bring down the jolly purple giant. Mr. Stark, Thanos isn't feeling very well. And once you win the game, you return the Avengers to normal. It's a happy ending. We'll see if Avengers Endgame ends like that.